Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook. In today's video, we're gonna revisit Hedera Hashgraph, and I'm gonna show you why you wanna have this one in your portfolio. But before we do, if you'd hit that like and subscribe and tell your friends and family so we can get this information out to as many people as possible, that would be fantastic. So guys, without further ado, why don't we get to it? So guys, if you're not holding Hedera Hashgraph in your portfolio as of yet, let me just say this. It is my strong view and opinion, <laughs> my personal opinion, that it is one that you might want to give serious consideration to. I'm going to tell you why in this video. So guys, right now, Hedera Hashgraph is probably one of the most undervalued assets in this entire space. Guys, Hedera is a smart contract platform that does not use actually blockchain technology. What they use is a consensus algorithm that was developed by Lehman Baird and they use a protocol called the Gossip Protocol. Well, this protocol, guys, has been demonstrated to be one of the fastest, most efficient and secure protocols when it comes to distributed ledger technology. So much so, guys, that it has attracted some major fintech players as their governing council and owners. Just take a look here at this little clip. You've got Google, you've got IBM, you've got Avery Dennison, you've got Deutsche Telekom. Guys, these are major, major fintech players. And they are really moving this ecosystem forward in a big, big way. Now guys, Hedera Hashgraph is not just a smart contract platform. In fact, Hedera Hashgraph is really making big strides in the tokenization of assets and digital identities. Now guys, as we know, digital IDs are going to be absolutely massive. Now when you have the likes of Google and IBM as the owners and the governing council members for a project like this, you know that they are putting the full weight of their networks behind the success of this platform. So that number one is huge. Now something else guys, that just seems to have passed underneath the radar for most folks regarding Hedera, is that just this year, back in April, Hedera actually put out a $250 million incentive program to attract developers to come work on its network regarding the metaverse. Now guys, you've heard me talk about the metaverse before, and we know that this is going to be a massive part of this new digital space and how people are going to interact. Well guys, if you take a look, another look at that um, clip there on who owns and governs Hedera, one of the companies you're gonna see is is Ubisoft. Guys, these are massive tech players in the gaming industry. And you've got folks being brought in with a huge incentive, $250 million to bring on developers to actually work on the Hedera network for the metaverse. Man, in my view, this shows their level of commitment, a quarter of a billion dollars, and giving them such a running head start over all these other competitors. So something else, guys, that you don't hear too much about when people talk about Hedera is their venture into the healthcare space. Well, guys, right now, Hedera is being used as the distributed ledger technology to support Safe Health Systems, Inc. Now, Safe Health Systems, Inc. is big. Guys, they have over 150,000 users through Delta Airlines, Arizona State University, the Mayo Clinic, and the list goes on. And they have chosen Hedera to be their distributed ledger tech of choice. And guys, that is a big deal when it comes to the custody of information and the ability to transfer information from point to point through these various chains. And they are making big headway on that and setting up these agreements and these contracts with these businesses. And I think going forward, that is going to be one of the major areas that you see blockchain take off big time is in the healthcare field and they're already at it. So guys, 
With respect to the price action and why I think Hedera is one of the most undervalued assets in this space, I want to refer back to a video I did about 10, 11 days ago. Now in that video, I was doing some technical analysis regarding Hedera and I wanna play a little clip from it. So let's take a look at this little clip and I'll be right back. So what I actually think we're doing now when we came pushed down here and we started trading in this range guys we are trying to retrace back up to this 8.6 range now if this is the actual breakout point today tomorrow somewhere in there and we actually break out of it well from a measured move from where we are right now to up to that 8.6 uh, 8.7 cent range look at that right there guys that would be a 17.4 percent long However, I'm not going to trade on that until I know that we've come back and tagged this as support, not financial advice. But that's when I would actually look at taking a trade is when we broke out, came back, hit it as support, and then bounced off. Now, from there, guys, if we actually do get that breakout in there, what I see is another area right up and in here. And I'm just going to pull this all the way across where I see our next big area. And this is just shy of that one fib right in there. But you can see what I'm looking at. So we came back in here and look at how many times we hit this as support right up and in here. All the wicks tagging it as support. Then we lost it and it became resistance, resistance, and again, resistance right here. And guys, this is right up there at that 9.8, that 9.9 .9 cent range. So guys, in that clip, as you saw, we were trading in a range there between what, five and seven and a half cents. Now at that time, guys, I was saying that I thought that Hedera would break through that seven and a half cent range. And when we did, we would come back, test the support and go up to that 8.5 or 8.6 range. Well guys, that's what happened. We broke out of that range. We got up as high as 8.45 cents. And what are we doing right now, guys? We are now retracing to that seven and a half cent and we're right now today i think at what 7.8 cents and we flip that resistance to support and it's my view guys that we are going to bounce off of that we're going to hit that 9.2 cent range and probably within the next week or two or even shorter we're going to see hedera trading at 10 cents or above now that's my personal view and opinion but guys long-term view on Hedera is that this is going to be a major player and I would not put it by Hedera to be trading at the one dollar or the one dollar and fifty mark come 2023 now that is my view so guys this is the video I have for you today and I sure hope you enjoyed it but if there's something I didn't mention about Hedera that you think should be mentioned just drop that into the comments down below if there's something I said that you don't agree with, put that in there too. And let's have a discussion. So guys, before you go, just take a little bit of time to check this place out. This is one of my favorite places to record. And it is just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful pond, all this geese and ducks, fountains, and there's all kinds of places. For families to just kind of sit chill barbecue relax it is just absolutely stunning one of the best places really so guys as you know i'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice but if you found value in it if you hit that like and subscribe i'd appreciate it so in the meantime and in between time stay safe be blessed and i'll catch you in the next one